Is Professor Xavier really dead? No. Victor, what are your thoughts here? No, not you dead. wouldn't kill him off screen. Yeah, so I agree weird. completely. Like it'd be such an odd move to be like, all right, we made sure it was clear we yeah. went to space at the end, but while we've been away, we waited and did it off screen. Welcome back to the break room. X Men '97 is here, and how good is this show? It's so good. Uh, we've got so many questions, and we're sure you do too. So let's dive right into it with some of our lingering questions from the first two episodes of X Men '97. I'm Brandon Barrick. Joining me today, we got Hector Navarro. Hi, hey, hello, hi. Thanks for having me. We're happy to have you. And also here, Coy Jandro. So excited! So excited to talk about X Men. So excited! So Did excited. you guys immediately get Pizza Hut? Uh, I didn't get immediately Pizza Hut. We, we, Hector and I were both at an event. You yeah. were at a different event when mm -hmm. they had this. I did. I, uh, they served Hot Pockets yeah. uh, and cereal. Yeah, oh, had, that's cool. I, I had some cereal. cereal, no milk. Didn't yeah. do the milk. Didn't want to risk it. I got milk. I, I was fine. Get, I, they had all two types of milk. Yeah. They had the Hot Pockets, and I went, no, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, did no, thank you. I did not have the Hot Pockets. I did not have the Hot Pockets. Because even if, even if you enjoy a Hot Pocket in the 90s. Now they're made of like completely different the, materials. It's just chemicals. It yeah. is not and my body is not knees. able to handle that. Yeah. A sustainable diet. Yeah, yeah. The Hot yeah. Pocket diet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the yeah, Magneet O's were good. Oh were yeah, they? you liked yeah. those? I liked them. Were those they like charms? This? Were they, they look kind of like they- They be... were like a, uh, they were like a Fruit Loop. Oh, okay. All Actually. red, I think strawberry. Oh, okay. I did a, I did a suicide. They had all these cereal. I was like, give me a little bit of each. Yeah, the person asked me, did you want just one flavor? And I was like, yeah. Like, I was like, I'm sorry, I'm not a psychopath. They were like, do you want me to put all three in the thing. I was like, no, just that. That's a brand. Like, is that yeah, a fourth I was, flavor? I, I walk up and I say, give me a suicide. Said, and they're like, you can't say that anymore. <laughs> we don't I call said, that a, We said, don't I, call it that. You gotta call it the unalive cereal. Yeah. I said, oh. I just wanted my milk to be one flavor. I just want my milk pink. That's it. I didn't want the choco, the cho you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, the aftermath of the milk. That's also part of it. We were talking too much about the yeah. cereal. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, that wraps up our lingering questions. Great work, everyone. Lingering questions. What was the cereal? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we, we want to talk about some lingering questions we had from this series. Uh, first up, uh, we had some people in the comments, okay? <laughs> I, I, promise, I promise not to read the comments, but someone in the comic, comments, uh, when we were talking about the first episode, uh, they were saying, don't, don't you know how Storm's powers work? First of all, I do. She controls the weather. She's the mega level. She's the best one at it. Yeah. People are saying uh, the storm in the desert, it wasn't glass she was walking on. She, it was ice. She made ice in the sand, uh, and that's what she used to cut up all the sentinels, and that's insane. I want to say something, and I want to try to say it nicely. Don't. Okay? <laughs> this is an example of an unearned, unchecked confidence mm. that you should not have in your day-to-day. -day. Yes. If, if, if you see somebody say something, and your immediate instinct is to be like, that is wrong, 100% wrong, and I know it is, no matter what, check yourself, do yourself a favor, Google it. Yeah. What happens to, to sand when it becomes superheated. Yeah. Just the look that up. Happens to anything. Just <laughs> look it up. Because that's a cop. That it happens in the desert. It, right, right. Lightning right. will strike the so, sand and it will turn to I, glass. I understand the notion that someone's like, but I know Storm, the comic book character, she's used her powers before and has like summoned a blizzard. Mm -hmm. And then there's like snow and blizzard stuff happening. Yeah, yeah. She, she can before, do that. But before you comment with like that kind of confidence, it reminds me of, do you guys remember the meme of that guy yelling at the other guy about Wizard of Oz? She came down in a bubble, yeah, yeah. dog. Yeah. You're going to tell me she's... What yeah. does that make her? Yeah, yeah, She's yeah. the Wicked Witch of the East, dog. Oh, grow up. It's your sister. Grow yes. up. Like, that's, that's why TikTok. I've watched that argument a lot of times. It doesn't make sense. Anyways. It, you know, but it's why, a great you know, video. But you know why yeah. it doesn't? It's very funny. Unchecked you know confidence. Why it doesn't make sense? Yeah. Somebody interviewed that guy after that meme blew up. I don't know when, because this mm -hmm. meme was from years ago. Yeah, yeah, and that guy in some like Zoom interview was like, yeah, I was saying that stuff, and I'll be honest, I, I hadn't seen The Wizard of Oz in many years, right. and I didn't. And I was just like, F you, yeah. bro. You are yeah. the problem with everything that's yeah. wrong with the world. This a is people saying, Darth Vader just, says, Luke, I am your father. You ever said that? Steamrolls a conversation. I appreciate the passion, Doug, but like, mm -hmm. can you go and just check yeah. it? You have a computer in your phone. Pull up the picture, pocket. Evan. Pull up the picture of, <laughs> of Storm. Of Pull up the glass. Pull it up. Glass. Pull it up. It's Boom. Glass. Lightning hitting Chris sand, crystallized. turning it crystallized glass. Because there's no storm clouds above. Right. And they're yeah. only right. above. They're not amongst right. it. And there's so, no precipitation otherwise. So I'm not trying to squash somebody's like. Squash. But look at the, even the magma. Look at the. There's even like the dripping of they the. They thought about being this. Formed. They, they thought about it. Glass. Yes. They, exactly. They thought about also, it. Also. Not thoughtless. We know about glass. 
glass. Glass is not a solid object, okay? Yeah. Glass is constantly in motion. It's still moving. That's why when you go to an old tiny house oh. and you look through the windows and they got a little ripple to them, yeah. it's because the glass is slowly still moving. That's so cool. Glass didn't is not that. a solid object. I didn't know that, that is cool. either. You Check yourself. I didn't. We were receptive exactly. to knowledge. We, we received were, new data. Thank you. Like Ted Lasso says, be curious, not judgmental. Yes. yes. I was open to that. You there learn you something new every day. There you go. Do do I don't I'm not a, I'm not I'm gonna assume it was a man who posted that comment. <laughs> so just like do your gender better. Like be a better representative. Yeah. Double check Let's your stuff. Let's all do our genders better. Because there would be nothing better than a comment that would be like, yeah. you know, I was gonna say something. Yeah. I did not. I thought it was something. ice, but you yeah. guys opened. You guys open are right. My eyes. Thanks. Glass. Click. Glass. Okay. Well. That about wraps up our show today. That's yeah, nice today. All right. Glass. Okay, thanks everybody. Okay. Uh, well, we talked about this on the after show, which if you haven't watched that, please do already. Leave a like. Get on all your fake accounts that you used to write nasty comments with and go like that uh, video. Uh, but one big thing that's kind of, I feel like everyone's still talking about, we still argue about it in the office, is Professor Xavier really dead? Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Uh, Koi, no. Victor, what are your thoughts here? No, not you wouldn't kill him off screen. Yeah, so I agree weird. completely. Like, it'd be such an odd move to be like, all right, we made sure it was clear we yeah. went to space at the end, but while we've been away, we waited and did it off screen when there's a plausible reason yeah. for not needing to do that. And it doesn't change that Cyclops would think he was dead. That's the whole point of the audience is supposed to have more knowledge than the characters on screen. That's what conflict is. Like, right. we need to understand those characters wouldn't know that while we are awares. Uh, there's, I can't think of a single narrative reason why they would have killed him off screen. Yeah. I also think this is another case of like, are people, it's totally fine if not, haven't seen rewatched freshly in the Which, past yeah, few I months think it's or fair. weeks, the final episode of season five of mm -hmm. X-Men, the animated series. I just watched it for the first time like a couple weeks ago. Yeah. A couple weeks before the premiere event. So it's so fresh. So this feels like that's what that, that's a case of. It's on Disney Plus. Just watch it. Like, pull it up and watch it. Right. And even that, if you hadn't seen it, had you not seen Eric Voss's breakdowns? Like, Ooh. all the it's only an channels, hour. Right, right. Everybody's been talking about this and like yeah. what you need to know before. There's just a little bit of research that needs to be done to like confirm it. But no, he's not dead. I not think dead. it is an interesting choice uh, for the show narratively yes. to not do a little weird, a little recap at the top. Yeah, or I like that they saved the first previously on for episode two. Yeah. And how was just episode one? Right. I thought that was actually like refreshing. I was afraid. Right. Yeah. Because cool. the first episode felt like it was enough of a reminder of the elements we loved without mm. being like a catch up episode. Yeah. True. Like, like they didn't it go through everything. And right. I'm glad they played the first two at once because that first episode was very like, remember yeah. how much you love us. The second episode builds from there. And I think that was smart. But I think if we'd done too much of that plus a previously on, mm -hmm. it would have felt kind of rote. Yeah. And like we, there's little hints that time has passed since that. A year. Yeah. That last episode, you know, yeah. Jean Grey's had at least nine months. At least. Uh, we, we know it's 97, 1997. Yeah. And when the death certificate arrives, the, the, right? the death date the is. Time of death. 11, 11, 96. Yeah. Was that we the know last time episode? Passed. What's that? Was that the day the last episode aired? No, I think the last episode did air in 1997. Yeah. Okay. It did uh, air in, in 1997. 97. Yeah. 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 Um, I and that, that date money. is yeah. uh, a Veterans Day, I believe. Yeah, uh, or some was it Armistice Day? Armistice, Again, some, it's all in the day. Eric Voss breakdown. Yeah. Just watch that on Just the new Rockstars that. channel if but you yeah, haven't already. I think they want to do. They do want to surprise some of the audience who either never watched the original series or yeah. won't go back and check it out and be like, here's, "Oh, he's alive!" Here's uh, the fun. question: Charles Xavier, voiced mm -hmm. by Ross Marquand, right. the real Charles. When is he going to show up? I know, are they've we, already right? shown him. Are we thinking, are we thinking, uh, I mean, they've shown him in like flashbacks and morph form. Late right. second act. Late second act of season of the, one. Of the show. Yeah. Of the show? Yeah. Uh, not like a season one cliffhanger? Like I'd say like the third act will involve him coming and wow. either repairing things or how he's going to take on the new responsibilities in the world that's changed in his absence. They've okay. put out uh, episodes, they yeah. put out episode descriptions for the season oh, and the yeah. last three are very sparse. They're uh, like, and it seems like a three part kind of finale. That's what I'm thinking, like, it'll, it'll cool. be the cliffhanger to go into the third Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think. Just from okay. the narrative structure of a 10 episode show, Man. I'm guessing it'll be like six. Are they gonna loop back in the Shi'ar Empire? I mean, I hope so. I mean, I think we're gonna get Inferno and I think we're gonna get Ooh. Life Death next. I think it's gonna go, where we are now is gonna go into Life Death pretty seamlessly. I think we'll get forward soon. In, I think they're in, forging a path. In, Inferno in is one. the, Inferno is the, to recap Koi, is the, when like hell and demons come to Madeline the... Pryor magic. Okay. I think, okay. Because we just met Madeline Pryor episode potentially, two. Potentially. Potentially. You haven't seen episode three I yet? I have not seen episode three yet. Uh, we have. So uh, potentially. Okay. Uh, yeah, so know and that then, I'm coming then, from the place you guys are at. And then what is Life Death? Life Death recap? is all. Oh, Life Death is a two-part. Storm-centric? Uh, yep, and it's Storm and Forge in the Australian Outback. It's kind of like a walkabout story. 
mm. and Storm accepting the the reality of her I different really like lifestyles and not having powers. Where's Maude? Yeah, yeah, it's her powerless yeah. going like where's, I've been. I've been a thief. I've been a yeah. goddess. I've been everything in between. Which, I've been an X Man. Who am I? And mm-hmm. Forge is there to help her like forge that. And power. we've seen she's lost her powers uh, temporarily. No, maybe something in episode. Three. I'm not talking about that. I'm but clock, I'm saying I'm we know we know episodes coming up yeah, yes, are yes, names yes. life death. Yes, right, yes, right. Yes, right. We, we have all the episode titles too. Pull it helpful. Yeah, there we go. Uh, this Motendo episode, we think will involve a little mojo potentially. Okay. Fire made flesh is episode three. Yeah, yeah. Mo- and then this uh, whole like and these then last death- three tolerance is extinction. I mean, that's a great place for Professor yeah. X to come back. And you know what's great is Life Death Part One and Two were a couple issues apart. They weren't back to back, so I like oh, that. Very cool. In the comics, they had a couple months between. I like that we get a couple yeah. weeks here. Remember, one, it is an episode between the two Life Deaths. What is that? A Coco reference? What is? Well, that? we <laughs> think it's maybe yes. Uh, that's Remember Me. Uh, remember it is something uh, Gambit often says. Remember He's it? like, the name's Gambit. Remember it. Hell yeah. So we maybe did. we'll get some Gambit, yeah. Magneto, Comeuppance. Yeah. Bright uh, Eyes. Bright Eyes, I'm going Cyclops there. I think that might Ooh, be Cyclops dealing really? with, like, You don't think it's Planet of the Apes? And... I think it's Caesar's mom from Rise of the Planet of the Apes. <laughs> I think it is, too. Bright Eyes. Yeah. And then I think Tolerance. It's Charlton Heston coming back. Tolerance is extinction. Uh, I think that that's going to be from Gyric. Yeah, and I says. think that's going to be E is for extinction based. I think it's going to be Grant Morrison, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Frank Whiteley, Ooh. New X Men. I think that's going to deal with a covert Magneto storyline, not Zorn directly, but in that vein Yo, where there's like a bait Genosha's switch. in play. I, I know they want to. They want to make play. Genosha. I, I would say the last Genosha? three. Oh god. The last three episodes are going to be the first six issues of E is for Extinction. Ooh, can I tell you guys something that's not a spoiler, but it is sure. a tease? So at this uh, event that we went to. Uh, uh, me and my girlfriend, who was my plus one to this uh, X Men uh, fan event, we went to a bar afterwards, and we and she is also friends with one of the voice actors on the show. Okay, she knows a few people who have been because my girlfriend's a voice actor, um, and she worked with somebody on a previous show, and then that person is now Gambit, AJ oh. Locasio, and and AJ's awesome, and Gambit's his just a side thing. Gambit's his favorite X Men character. He dressed up like him in his 20s. There's pictures of AJ dressing mm-hmm. up like Gambit. When these auditions for this new show came around, you're never supposed to do this as a voice actor. He only auditioned for Gambit. He didn't want anybody else. He's, gotcha. He locked in. He that dude locked in, in, and he nailed it. So we were chatting with AJ a little bit, and then we were chatting with somebody else. I'm not going to say who, who may or may not be involved with the show. They were involved with the show, and they told me, they went, episode five is going to be a turning point. They okay. said episode five might break the internet. It's going to be something that is like, and pull that What's up. What's the name? Remember it. Remember okay. it. Is episode, right? So Remember one, two, three, four, it. Five. Remember yeah. it is episode five. Okay. Um, I'm extremely excited. Just and that that's tease. between the life deaths. That, mm-hmm. Yeah, just that tease. I was like, okay, episode five. I'm, I'm trying to remember the exact phrasing that was used. It was like, it, not, it might be a game changer, but I think I think they said turning point. Okay, it's gonna be a real turning point. And they were like, I cannot wait for episode five. I heard they're gonna rename them from the X Men to the Y Men. Mm, I like that. Why the last men? I like why that. the last? Why the last men? men. And yeah. then Yorick's gonna show up, and like there'll be that. a monkey that poops in his mouth, Ooh. and that's gonna make everything what? okay. Was that in the show movie? And mm-hmm. That's why mm-hmm. Yorick didn't Stomach? die, right? That's why people are upset about Morph because he oh. turns into a monkey that poops in mouths. Oh, great! <laughs> uh, but I think the the end of the show being a guaranteed season two is also something worth noting. Yeah, so yeah. We, I mean, we, we know there's two. a season two. That's why I think Genosha. I yeah. think we're gonna yeah. end on the cliffhanger big, of that destruction. Yeah. Oh. I think that's where we go with the end. And like, that's like, go well. That Loki episode, things are exactly. literally going to fade to white. You're going to be like, what, what next? And you got to wait for season two. I think that's But then to come back and go, the mutant nation of Genosha was nuked. They're like 16 million out. mutants dead. Holy. Also, the timing of this, like this ends in what, June? Oh. And then it's a month later, so we have Deadpool. I don't think they're connected, but I do think it's a good way to go. Like, remember all these characters, remember you love them, and then you can yeah. kind of get back to like, yeah. remember them in live action. Very cool. Remember it. Okay. okay. And then in uh, July 10th, the new X-Men stuff in the comic starts. From the Ashes. Yes. Right on. So From the Ashes is one of the storylines that leads into Inferno. From the Ashes is Mohawk Storm, which we obviously are getting. It's what's Madeline the, Pryor. What's the Celine uh, Dion song from Deadpool 2? From the Ashes. <laughs> no, is it from, isn't it Ash this. to Ashes? No, it's... Because uh, it's a cheeky, dirty joke. Yeah. It's a, hang on, let me pull this out. Use it, that computer in your phone. So, so From on. the Ashes is an important arc in the X-Men from the Uncanny X-Men run that precedes Inferno that, in fact, leads eventually to the 90s Jim Lee X-Men stuff that the first show was based off of. Right. So 1991, there's a, an X-Men number one, not Uncanny, it's just called X-Men, that kicks off this whole new era of X-Men. The yellow suits come to play. It's Jim Lee's most iconic run that is based off what the X-Men animated show turned into. But preceding that was Inferno and this From the Ashes storyline. 
in the show we're watching now, I think From to Ashes is going to come to play because of Madeline Pryor, because of the Mohawk Storm. But that story, there's a new one coming in July, August, and September called From the Ashes that's going to be rebooting the X-Men in the current comics post Krakoa. So I obviously know the Phoenix, you know, element is going to be why the ashes are used, but is that going to be referencing the stuff that the show is playing with as well as the old comics, or is it just fiery stuff? Time will tell. July 10th. Time will tell. The Celine Dion song was called Just Ashes. Oh. oh okay. and, uh, but I think the lyrics in it were like, she said, ash to ashes, and the joke is that it sounds like something dirty. Mm, that's Keith awesome. David dirty. Lyon from Requiem. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't, don't right. make me think about it. Don't make me think <laughs> about it. Okay, yeah. let's get on to our next question. Okay. Uh, also, uh, let's, Twitter let's, name, I love it so much. Let's check out this picture of the original X-Men that we see in the show, right? This is classic. <laughs> First class lineup, you know, you got Professor X, you got Beast pre his meddling with his jeans, mm -hmm. you got uh, Angel there, you got Marvel Girl, Jean Grey, you got Cyclops, and you got Iceman when he was a cute little fluffy snow boy. Yeah, snowman. Uh, who boy. wore boots, which was like very bizarre, I guess, because mm -hmm. they were like, well, he looks naked without the boots, I guess. With boots, he looks so clothed. He looks so close. Now, in the animated series, this isn't the team that we start the show with, right? Uh, but I mean, they were also well along it yeah. being X-Men at that point. Jubilee is our new member. Yeah. She's brought in. Uh, but it's referenced that both Angel and Iceman were on the X-Men at some point. Yeah. And then in the show, throughout the show, they run into Angel during the apocalypse thing. They don't really talk about his time. And then he gets his wings ripped off and he's all pissed. They run into Iceman. So. Then they run into Iceman later. And I think with Iceman, they say like, oh, good to see you again, Bobby. Right. How's it going? Wasn't he on X-Factor? Yeah, I think he like goes to X-Factor. There's a whole nother team. Yeah. There's like such an established universe of stuff. Yeah, it's like, like years, it's, it's been going on forever. And, the mutants yeah. aren't new. Well, the reason X Factor the comic started was because the original five team needed a place, but they didn't want to sacrifice to all the all new X-Men yep. because yep. giant size of X-Men number one brought us Wolverine, Nightcrawler, like all the X-Men that you, you probably recognize as the X-Men, but that was 20 years into the run of X-Men yeah. comics. And it's funny because that actually follows the X-Men comics being reprints. There was actually about five years of X-Men comics that they just changed the numbers to go up, but they just showed the same comic. Yep. I, as a collector of X-Men, it hurts me every time I spend hundreds of dollars on the same comic again, but I'm a collector. So that led into the new X-Men, which is the Storm-based era, but they didn't want the five core team to go anywhere, so X-Factor started. And we're also getting an X-Factor comic starting in July. So I do feel like a lot of the stuff that is happening right now in X-Men 97, I don't think it'll directly correlate to the comics, but I do think it's interesting we're getting these elements that we're familiar with again. I mean, that would be foolish to not take advantage of the high push. Yeah, that's yeah, called yeah. synergy. That's what yeah. that is. People who haven't like picked up a comic book in a while being like, well, what are the old X-Men up to these days? Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Now that they've destroyed Krakoa. Mm -hmm. It lasted uh, so long. No, I'm just getting around to reading it. So <laughs> I was, <laughs> I, I, I'm like enjoying it. I'm like, oh, this is fun. It's so different. I was bummed to hear that like, oh, it's already over. And it's like, ah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, it started in 2019. That's five years. Yeah, it's okay, a long well, time. I've been busy, Hector. Yeah, what do you it's want true. from me? It's a, it also doesn't take that long to read through when you're really committing to it. Five years worth of comics. No, it's very easy it's, it, to it, just yeah. pick up the trades from the library and just fly through it. Um, Love it. Do you think we're gonna see like Iceman or Angel we saw show up in the series? Now? Archangel in episode two morphed turned into Archangel. He did, he mm -hmm. did turn into yeah. like uh, he wasn't. He was like the. The weird version, the weird the, version the of The apocalypse Angel. version, the blue like, skin with the metal wings. But he had the, the he wasn't wearing the cowl, and right. the, the suit was blue and white, not the blue yes. and So pink he stays one, mutated yes. after the right. effect, he can't, so the he's wings not evil stay. anymore, yeah. but, he's, but he lets his blonde hair yeah, out yeah. and stuff. So yeah, he's yeah. good, he was showing up as good arc. Exactly. Yeah, okay. I think we will, I mean, listen, the the that great Eric Voss breakdown brought up the fact that like, uh, Cable, was a character who in the original show showed up in season one, yeah. Nathan Summers. And at one point in the original show, Jean Grey like scanned Cable's mind mm. and was like, what? It can't be, that's impossible. And right. saw like the, a symbol for DNA. So it's like, did the original show imply that Jean Grey knew that Nathan was her biological son? Did that factor into episode two where Scott goes, he needs a name. And Gene goes, Nathan. Yeah. Like, it's an interesting thing. Like, and yeah. will X Men 97 actually answer that? Yeah. All this to say, the people who are making this new show, I know, are combing through or have combed through those five seasons sure. and gone, what was unresolved? Well, this never got explained. Yeah. This never got explained. Even while watching X Men 97, I was like, wait, I'm trying to remember, does Scott Summers know that Corsair was his father? 
don't he does. He brings it up in the original okay, so series. Oh, I, I know that, that he okay. met him, but like they had a conversation about I'm your dad, I'm your son. Yeah, yeah. So it's those kinds of and then I get mixed in with comic book yeah, knowledge and I'm like, I am because they, so, they they squash the beef there, but when okay. like uh Again, squash say, the beef but, enough. But don't say anything. We've seen episode three. I know, don't I know, but I will say that like in in the cable question, when Cable and Scott interact, yes, they do. in the original series, there's no acknowledgement right. of who they are, and there is a moment. Gina, and then there's the sinister of it all because yes. I know they're yeah, dealing with the Summers up. DNA and sinister. And he he kidnaps Jean Grey a lot in the yep. the original. And series. we're having yes. a new Jean Grey baby pregnancy. Yeah. I'm sure Sinister wants to be involved with that birth. There's also a moment uh -huh. in the original series when like Cable's going through his computer, it's yeah. talking about the X Men, yeah. and it's like Scott Summers, and he's like, I know everything about Scott Summers. So he. Yeah. Cable is like up on what happened. But I would not be surprised if every single element of right. the original show that was not concrete yeah. mm -hmm. finalized, they're going to bring up. So yeah, I do believe we'll see Angel again yeah. and Ice Man. Also, I think Sinister in the show is a great way to introduce people to Sinister that is, it's going to be the movies. Like I, I can almost right. guarantee, mm. like, if you look at the Spider-Man like chronology in the Sony universe, every time they were about to use a villain, then they would later on use that in the reboot. Like in yeah, the Tom Holland sense. movies, Vulture was going to be in Spider-Man 4, Sam Raimi's. All of a sudden, he was the yeah. first character. Yeah. Mysterio was almost Bruce Campbell. All of a sudden, Spider-Man 2 and, and Hulk, our universe Hulk, had him. Hulk as well. The Eric Bana sequel was maybe going to have Abomination. So it, it feels like they, just... they keep certain designs yes. and they kept teasing Mr. Sinister in all of the stuff, right. including the New Mutants having a post credit scene with Sinister. They cast him. John Hamm was Sinister. I would almost he guarantee. The He's no, not in the his, movie. His suitcase. You but see his cast. You see an oh. Essex Corp suitcase. There was rumors that he had done a screen test, and I think a couple of years ago he did an interview. He yeah. was like, "I had a conversation. Yeah, I yeah. never. I put didn't on, film wow. anything. I didn't but, put on a costume." Yeah, yeah. So we, I mean, we were that yeah. close. I would almost guarantee, instead of doing Magneto as a villain, they they do something new and we get Mister Sinister. Interesting. But if you do that in the animated series, it would help people like refamiliarize themselves with who he is. Yeah. Potentially, yeah. They were gonna have a scene where Sinister was on an elevator with with Scott Summers and Scott Summers was like, I pity you. And Sinister was like, I don't think about you at all. I don't think about you. <laughs> I don't think about you at all. Stop. <laughs> Sinister in the comics is so wacky dude. Yeah. He's so Especially goofy. the Krakoa stuff. He's insane. Because yeah. there's like hundreds of them. He just keeps killing he's, himself. He's, he's so wacky. So he's silly. delicious. He's deliciously he's silly. Cranston wanted to play him for a long time and I think I'd be Cranston. delightful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cranston was lobbying for it. I think for a live action act, let's talk about this for a second. You mentioned John Hamm, and I was like, I like Hamm. I don't, I don't see it. Do he's it. too he's charming, too actually. He's too modern. You got to have a guy who looks like he could maybe come from 1880. Yeah. Because yeah. that's, that's the, the Daniel Essex's weird, yeah. like, awesome history. But he's he's also, he should be short and malnourished. Is that what you're saying? No, no. Scurvy. <laughs> Just the option of scurvy. Have that old school facial yeah. hair and the sort of, like, I know Charles Darwin. Yeah. And you believe it. I mean, yeah. Killian Murphy would be a good minister. Soon. Exactly. Oh, yeah, yes. I think so. Yes, he would. Book oh, it. Yes, Book it. Would. We're going to talk more about our lingering questions, but first I got to yeah, talk like about that. how much I don't stink. Because we want to thank our sponsors, Mando. Hey, do you want to smell like a zero? And for the record, zero is a good thing in this situation. Hear me out. <laughs> there was a clinical study done, and men who showered with soap and used Mando, whole body deodorant on their armpits, had an odor score of zero out of 10 after 12 hours, which meant no order. Odor. Odor. Hold the door. So again, here, zero is good. Follow me. O Men who o -D -E -R. showered. O-D-E-R. O-D-E-R. Odor. Odor. Yeah. odor. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Men who showered with soap alone had an armpit odor score of 8 out of 10 after 12 hours. That's a lot more odor! Mando is clinically proven to control odor for 72 hours wherever you stink. Uh, we've been sticking to armpits, but it works on like your feet, your nether regions, anywhere you want to smell better. Use a little Mando. Make the switch to Mando whole body deodorant and smell like a zero every day. Mando starter pack is perfect for new customers. It comes with solid stick deodorant. Cream tube deodorant, two free products of your choice, like a mini body wash and deodorant wipes, plus free shipping. As a special offer for our audience, get new customers get $5 off a Mando starter pack with code BREAKROOM at shopmando.com. That equates to over 40% off your starter pack when you visit shopmando.com and use code BREAKROOM. Again, that's shopmando.com. Please use the code break room. I just want to say that Zach has been using uh, Mando and he all week he's been asking not shut to up smell about him. him. Yeah. And we, we say, Zach, you smell like a zero. We know. He had a meeting with HR because he won't stop making us smell Wow. Him. Also, I like how producer Evans is at a different frame rate. Yeah, he's got a, a like a Very super cool. high depth. Yeah. This, this, camera, got, this camera really loves the Well, we're, it's like we spent a lot of money rendering the graphics dead. behind him. This is X Men 1992 over here? Yeah. This is X Men 97. You know what I'm saying? Like, cut back to him. It's like, even like the frame is a little punched in, like X Men 92. Like, he's really. 
think I feel like I'm watching budget. Avatar Way of Water where the frame rate keeps changing. <laughs> <laughs> and they come back to us. X-Men oh. 97. Uh, Apologies to James Cameron. Uh, uh, hey, folks. Easter is right around the corner. Whether you like it or not, it's coming. And the only thing better than Easter eggs are Easter eggs filled with jelly beans. Ooh, Delicious cute. jelly beans from Jelly Bean Planet. We've just received a transmission from Jelly Bean Planet. And they've promised to bring us delicious jelly beans as long as we stay within the bounds of the Galactic Treaty. Uh, they have tons of container <laughs> sizes, like this 8-ounce triangular box. They got 42 and a half ounces. They got the Papa Bean, where you get a mystery bean. It pops right up. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, that we'll one's for know. Hank. It's a mystery. That one's for Hank. Here we go. We love eating the jelly beans <laughs> from Jelly Bean Planet. They've got all natural flavors. They have plant-based colors. No GMO, no gelatin, no gluten, no palm oil, and no odor, frankly. Uh, go to our exclusive link below and use code 15 Rockstar to get 15% off a 42 and a half ounce jar of Jelly Bean Planet Jelly Beans today. Let's get back to some of these questions. Thanks, Jelly Bean Planet. Let's Thank get back you. to some of these questions. Oh, yeah, yeah. Evan, so give us some have questions. Some, we have a bunch of questions that I collected over Instagram. You can follow us at how, NR. How do you get a question from Instagram? Oh, Brandon, there's so a, many things I need comment? to teach you. A comment? Um, and we have some chat questions today that I've been collecting. But before we do that, I want to shout out some people who were subbing throughout the... Uh, the conversation, Nacho Gaming 20. Thank you for the 10 months. Thank you. Uh, 10 months? Stuff. I got to do this show for 10 more months? <laughs> no, they've been sub for 10 months. Oh. Yeah, that part is even sadder. Oh, You've been doing this show for oh, 10 months. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm going to add a baby. Well, about a baby. I, I don't want a baby. Even H95 says, it's my five month anniversary, but I've been a follower since the inception of the break room two years ago. Oh, happy and anniversary. Hector, and where did you get that? is seven months old today. Oh, oh happy birthday. We got you some We got you a Jelly Bean Planet sponsor. Yeah. How about how, this is about the weight of a child? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and thank you, Eliza Dante, for subbing, and Yuka Pieta for subbing as well. Yeah, thank you, Yuka Pieta. Yeah, I haven't heard. That's a name I've not heard in some time. <laughs> yeah. Hey. That's an old school. That's an old school fan right there. Question, Evan. Yeah. Oh yeah. So let's see. Um, <laughs> Uh, oh, and some people sometimes are like, Evan, why do you rephrase my questions? Ooh. Sometimes I rephrase it so it's a little bit clearer, but sometimes we've already talked about it on the show, so uh. things have changed. Uh, sometimes it's another question in a question. It's kind of like a Russian nesting doll. Of yeah, sometimes we get a lot of the same question and we, we lump them all together. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes you think that ice that Storm's using ice and not turning sand in the <laughs> yeah, glass. Sorry. change it for your benefit. So change it. Sometimes your grammar's shit. Sorry, yeah. I don't know what sorry. to tell you. Sorry, dog. All right, so I've included some of the questions in the prompt. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, I'll do it. Christian Unpronounceable asks, what's your theory on how Magneto and Rogue can touch? Didn't he explain this? What's the comic book explanation for Basically, it? Basically, he can, like, keep a barrier between them. Right, enough. Like, right. there's a, you know, the magnetic waves. Like, of is the he using, like, static up. electricity? Is that that That's little... Slight barrier. So that, like, the, the thing that causes the touch to actually steal, there's a slight, like, you know, condom. But it still feels like a touch, touch to yeah, Rogue. It yeah, to Rogue. She physical. still gets that. The, other, the electrical impulse. Like, we, we feel by touch, like, yes. by electrical impulses. Mm -hmm. So he's able to give her all those impulses. And he can, like, shield his skin. Like is it like how there's, like, always comic. space between you? You yeah. can never have between two things atom. fully touching... The atoms are always separated. There you go. That's, That's what I think. That's yeah. how I interpret it. Okay. I, that makes sense. I'm, I I had to assume it was because something to do with his powers. Electrical yeah. impulses is how you'd feel. So we don't have a barrier. Yeah. We talked about it on the show, but when do you think they hooked up before? Well, six. <laughs> yeah. The, like right post before. in between no, the pre, season finale. Pre ninety two. Pre ninety two. Because think? because she was bad. Rogue's right. foster mother Mystique. Right. I remember all that. And I feel like even within the. 90 show Mystique and Magneto may have even had it again. The movie, they did, start yeah. The movies in, really mix it up, but like Magneto really wasn't running with the Brotherhood back then, right? When Rogue was there with, but there were Mystique. years he was separated from Charles, yeah. So that's what I'm saying is that in those years, I think you don't think it happened in the like that, the you know, maybe there's a funeral no. and they were like talking, no. I mean, maybe that rekindled something, yeah. I think once Rogue joined the X Men, she yeah, was yeah. an X Men, she wouldn't have done that, she but I think when it. Rogue was being raised by Mystique, right. She's in something by happened. a little bit of yeah. the light. Yeah, yeah. yeah we locks. don't we don't know at what age Rogue yeah. joins this iteration of the X Men. Yeah. I don't believe. I don't. I can't remember. Maybe. I don't think it was while she was still a teenager, but maybe I'm yeah. I'm wrong on that. We'll have to see what the show does, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They'll yeah. explain it to like definitively answer. Maybe it was happened during fights. You know, like a fight would end yeah. and Rogue. But it's Rogue would hot get bothered, a letter in the mail because I guess there's email. It's 1997. There's there's uh, early mm, DARPA net and stuff like that. There's like Mission Impossible One style. Yeah, yeah. there's Ask Jeeves era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the net. 
Yeah, Mozart's Geo City's message board. It would be great yeah. if, if they do a, a, a scene where like Cerebro logs into the internet and we hear like, yeah. <laughs> like this long... Scott, get off the phone. <laughs> I'm trying to use Cerebro. <laughs> Evan, you don't get that joke. Evan, I get it. No, you grew up with T1. I have a very vivid memory of me playing the Bionicle computer game, oh, trying boy. to call my okay. friend for tips. You dated we yourself. were also like okay. A, yeah, okay. a, trying to use AIM at the same time. It was mm. very odd. Lego Bionicle? Anyways, uh, Damn. People, people are asking um, Alex <laughs> Reyes and Anzelda, Magneto or Gambit? A lot of people. Oh, uh, Gambit all day. Gambit. No, for Magneto Rogue? all day. Uh, I think for Rogue, for yourself, a lot of people. For me, Magneto. On uh, Gambit's appearance in this. Well, that's. It. I mean, would, if you're comparing Magneto and Gambit, the 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 Venn diagram there in the middle is Rogue. Yeah, this I mean, is, it's, it's the, weird and random to be like Magneto as a character, Gambit as a character. Who's your? Why are you? Talking they've about both those killed. Two? Yeah. They both look good in purple. Yeah. But for Rogue, Gambit, Gambit's, Gambit's too clingy. He's no. like always on rogues. Are you kidding me? Stuff. He is. He loves all women. He just found his true love in her. I think Gambit. It was more than happy to be in the friend zone. Like if Rogue is like, he's know, always sugar. like, he's like, I'll be here. I'm fine. I'll wait. I, th I, don't, I don't know. He's I don't always pressuring he's her. He's always pressuring her. Well, Piss. in season one, he kind of did of the original show, 1992. Yeah, yeah. He was borderline was inappropriate. Yeah, but he backed off. I feel like. I think Gambit is more the guy that does kind of what he believes is right, whereas Magneto is more of like, I'm going to convince you things are my way. Yeah. And I, I just don't mess with Jehovah's Witnesses. Like, I don't like the Jehovah's <laughs> Witnesses. So I just, uh, I feel like Gambit's more like laissez-faire, okay. and uh, yeah, yeah. Magneto's a doorknob. I mean, how appropriate to use a right French the term, term, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, He does come from a family of thieves. And so. New Orleans, there's just like a flow about him. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go Gambit. You can't just eat beignets for breakfast. That's what's bugging me. It's not healthy. You're not going to keep those abs that way, buddy. Keep those yeah, and you yeah. keep that belly shirt. Yeah. He's doing Someone's right. lying. He's Someone's like, lying. Yeah. Hey, oh. I'm Maybe when he kinetically charges, it uses calories. Yeah. I made it beignets so he out just of calories. Calories. No He's calories. He's like beignets. Oh. Beignets. Oh. <laughs> Great. Delicious. Uh, Frost. Frost, Frost Iceman got there. Frost Iceman 97. 97. Is this Bobby Drake? Yeah. Uh, is asking, do you think the series will also showcase current X-Men stories we have seen today, such as Krakoa? Uh, if you watched, I didn't mean to sound so sassy there. If you if you check out uh, uh, Eric's breakdown of the first two episodes, yes. he was able to uh, interview uh, supervising producer Jake Casanera, Casarina? Casarina. Castaneda, I think? Casarina? Yeah. Casanera? I'm saying that right. Casarina? Yeah, that's uh, right. Jake Casarena. Anyways, uh, Eric Voss was able to interview uh, supervising producer Jake Casarena, that, and he hinted at the use of recent comic stories because uh, he was saying, like, you know, in the '90s they were definitely pulling from like stuff that was going on right then. Yeah. Uh, also, a key member of the Krakoa ability to exist was referenced in the first. Yes, episode. they referenced gold Egg. Balls. Gold balls. Who makes the gold balls. Gold uh, balls. Yeah, uh, he goes by Gold Balls before he's Egg, and that's the great, best mutant name ever. I think we were missing a T in yeah, the. I thought it was a Cas T. Yeah, Jake Castorena. Castorena. He's also the head director. I, I interviewed him yeah. too. Thank, thank you, thank you for Castorena for correcting me. You see, there. we didn't have the conf. We were like, yeah. hey, let's hey, look let's it check up. it. Let's check it. I'm not gonna comment. So maybe I don't know the guy's name. I shouldn't correct you. I just read what I see on the screen. Yeah. That's He's not fair. But he was saying, he kind of hinted that like yeah. they could get into some more but recent Krakow storylines. feels like it might be too far. That might be like yeah. it's a Hell X-Men 97 season two or three thing. Well, there is, you know. New X-Men, I like that. that I think Genosha happens now. I think mm -hmm. season yep. two, they're yep. looking for a place while the world hates and fears them. Could Maybe be season Krakow. three. There you go. Because while Sunspot was a character created like, I believe in the 80s. Yes. Uh, he's, he's more kind of famous in this more recent run of like New Mutants, right? As like a new younger guy. I mean, he was in the New Mutants movie that everyone saw. Right, right. Everyone saw it. Uh, but that character has been used a lot in, I believe, is currently in New Mutants comics. Yeah, and, so, and currently he's got a little bit more clout. They, they leverage the money. There's more of that Tony Stark yeah. element of, like, his political power and his yeah. financial power helps the New Mutants. Yeah, really and I rich. think in episode three, Morph takes the form of a character that is uh, a little more recent. So I think you're going to see more uh. of... That happening uh, in the show, okay. and I think they are willing to bring in some more modern co comic storylines. That was a good tease. Thank you. Uh, er Eric was even thinking that, like, maybe Cassandra Nova, if that is a villain in Deadpool three, a good way to kind of like what I was saying, Mister Sinister, that character. you just remind yeah. people, and then it yeah, plants. So, a seed. so we'll have to wait and see. So hopefully, maybe there is some more. And what an interesting way to bring Xavier back than by his own like right in utero punch and twin sister. That's right. It's my favorite frame in comics. Yeah, <laughs> now, wild. it is a wild frame. <laughs> comics are wild. My favorite folks. frame in all of comics is Spider-Man lifting in Amazing Spider-Man 33, the last Steve Ditko. My second favorite oh, okay. is in utero twin punching. <laughs> okay. It's a good one. That, that's slept. the range of comics. Yeah. Um, that's how far comics can go. <laughs> that's, how, that's, that's the range they got. Uh, yeah, I, I hope they do. I, I mean, I would love some subterfuge. Like, I... 
I don't always love when these shows follow the comics exactly. You True. know what's going to happen. I'd love to be surprised. So we'll, we'll see. And they already do make changes from how some storylines have played out in like the original animated series. Yep. yep. Uh, so I think they're going to keep doing issue that. Issue two was, I mean, uh, issue two. Episode two was so good at doing an, uh, Uncanny X Men issue 200, The Trial of Magneto, but in a mm. new context. Right. And looping an executioner, which like doesn't directly correlate. Like yeah. they were able to do, like, now that's what I call this storyline. And it worked. Love and it. like I love the sassy visuals of those sleeves. I like the original and I love the remix, folks. Uh, Brian Pimentel asked, What non X Men characters do you think we'll see? This is exciting. Spider-Man. They're going to do it? They're going to do it. I absolutely think. And, and, and the voice actor who played Peter Parker in the 90s show, he's still with us, right? Yeah, still, I believe so. I feel like if they're not going to get him to come back, they will find a perfect voice match mm -hmm. the way they have for some of the cast of X-Men 97. I think that at the end of the episode, we're going to see this guy right there, or end of the season, rather, some sort of like like visual cameo with a voice mm -hmm. to really feel the presence versus the Spider-Man cameo that was in the original show, which was almost just a hand. Yeah, yeah. literally. Really like fun, really quick cameo. to slip by a, a studio network executive right. that would be like, oh, do we have the rights to that? They, they do now. They've got it yeah. all. Yeah. And a lot yeah. of the times they were making, the animators made references on the show like yeah. Deadpool or yeah. Punisher Panther. or things. They didn't ask. They War were just machine. doing yeah. it because like no one was really worried about it yet. Yep. Um, Speaking of Keith David. He was Black Panther in the Fantastic Four show. Really cool. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Man, that's um, cool. Before even Ash to Ash. Goliath, uh, yeah. Uh, but the the there are rumors out there that like the next they're going to announce a like, show? the, the reboot show? of the Spider-Man animated series. I think you series. announce it with the finale. Yeah. yeah. Now, in the Spider-Man animated series, they had a crossover with the X-Men mm -hmm. that was like so, much more, mm -hmm. hi, I'm, a mut I'm not a mutant, but nice to meet you. Yeah. Uh, when Spider-Man started mutating, yep. he, he went to go ask the X-Men for help. Leading to the Madame Web Spider-Verse. Right, right. So I, I think you could totally see that here. We had a you know a name cameo on the Daily Bugle that went by and it said Spider-Man. And there was another mutant? article by Eddie Brock. Now, Spider-Man wasn't hyphenated, which was very funny because uh, J. Jonah, J. Jonah would not bother to put in an extra yeah. character. He would be that uh, respectful. He would be like, no, nah, I'm not doing that. Yeah. Um, so I, I think we will see that. I mean, I would love to see like a Fantastic Four cameo. I would love to see anything they recently acquired yeah. show up, <laughs> Daredevil. I would even love for them to find a way to, because I think in the 90s, it's called the Marvel Animated Universe. Mm -hmm. I think technically the Avengers... Like United We Stand or some weird show from the late nineties. It's connected. Was looped into that. There was an Iron had, Man series. Iron Man there was, was a Silver really Surfer yeah. series. That, from a, the 90s. that Avengers show had the wildest lineup of characters. It was like uh, Goliath and uh, Wasp, but she was mutated and like the most <laughs> She's insane. The like Heroes Reborn era of Marvel Comics Avengers, I would love for them to even have to factor that in and just like make it good. Okay. Like like if they're going to use that larger Marvel Universe concept, the end of the Spider-Man show was a cliffhanger where Mary mm -hmm. Jane Watson fell through a portal yeah. and then Peter Parker never found her because they tried to do the Gwen Stacy bridge death but with MJ but then they didn't want her to die. But kill, so then they yeah. left it where she's falling forever. Yeah. And you know where I think that lands? And then it went to Spider-Man Unlimited, the weird future Batman Beyond show yeah. which was still part of the continuity. I'm like... Y'all brilliant writers of X-Men 97, loop all of that right, in. Right. I think that gets solved somewhere else. Where? Beyond the Spider-Verse. Could be. Ooh. I've been, I've been and, thinking and from the Mary beginning. Mary Jane Watson shows up. I think up, Mary Jane found, found, lands after falling and then and Beyond the Spider-Verse. And then I think we get animated. Could. The voice actor of yeah. that animated, I literally think yeah. it was, the Lord and Miller have been waiting yeah. for that delivery yeah. for It us. was weird that of all the cameos they had in that movie, they did not. I think that's yeah. what yeah. Because, because you got to hold something. They yeah. had spectacular Spider-Man. Yeah, they had which people Spider were very excited about. So stoked. Yeah, Yuri's so in stoked. it for a line. I think the third one is going to be voice actor heavy. A little okay. bit more. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, I would love to see some great cameos yep. in this show. I think it, it's it's a perfect opportunity. Especially because of Fantastic Four, they could do Franklin Richards, and there's a real yeah. connection with the mutants and the X-Men. Oh, yeah, that's really fun. Every, all, all the other Marvel stuff, mm -hmm. I'm more thinking of just sort of world building. Right. I don't need them to like pivot and be like, let's do an adventure with the Hulk. It's like, there's no real reason. Yeah. Sometimes the X-Men and the Hulk don't need to interact. talk, interact. Yeah. But if it, it's appropriate for like a, a, a story that will impact the X-Men. Especially if Franklin is going to be in the Fantastic Four movie. Yeah. Um, I think it'd be smart to, I think he's in the, in the first one. I think, I think, oh. yeah, I think we're going to get, because they've been really leaning into the parent. Like think about phase four. Everyone's a parent. Sure. What's Marvel's first family without a family? Like I think we're going to have Franklin. Mom and dad just is their baby. So I think, I think we have, I think we have Franklin young enough that he doesn't have his omnipresent powers, but I think it'd be really smart to introduce audiences to the idea of Franklin first. 
So I can Could see be. him in the next okay. one. Could be. All right. We've got a lot of questions. Go. Okay. Not, not a lot of time. So we'll, we'll keep some answers a little bit quicker here. Okay. Uh, some people Good asking producing. questions about like whether or not you think it's going to pursue certain storylines this series. Null and Void, uh, do you think the show is leading into the Age of Apocalypse timeline? Not now. Okay. No, because they kind of did that in the original show a little sure. bit. Uh, so I'm going to say no. And in fact, I think that was the thing where uh, Storm and Wolverine were a couple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they did. In, like, like, they the went to the reality. future. Yeah. Super cool. Uh, yeah. I, I like to see them bring them. And they, they, they sacrificed themselves. They were like, we won't be together anymore. Yeah, they did but, some Days of Future Past makes yeah. some apocalypse stuff. Next question. Um, Astro Mac asking, do you think we'll get the Rogue and Magneto love child storyline? Oh. I don't think they'll go that oh. far. I do know that that is a, a weird cult favorite in the comic books. W wasn't it that she had a kid with a clone of Magneto named <laughs> yeah. Joseph? Uh, it wasn't Joseph. even Magneto. It was Joseph. It he was, long he was the babies. young, long, flowy yeah. haired version of him. Also, Joseph just came back in the comic, so he is what? currently relevant. Joseph, uh, him and uh, Wanda had a little adventure where Wanda got closure about like the non-father her I clone. I, I, I. So Wanda, are you reading the Scarlet Witch comic right now? No. Uh, so Scarlet Witch basically has her own shop with Darcy. Darcy Darcy's actually in the oh, comics. Yeah, she Darcy got Lewis. And so Darcy Lewis runs the shop and, and Wanda basically has this door that anyone that has nowhere else to go comes through and she helps oh. them solve problems. So it's kind of like Doctor Who-esque. And Joseph comes through and he has no idea who he is and he has no idea how he got there and she it's Wanda closure. getting closure about Magneto yeah. who's not her father in current continuity which I think is ridiculous. Yeah. But Joseph doesn't even know who he is and they get to have a relationship as if they were a young father some, and daughter. Some writer will come along and retcon that. I would like, like that. Yeah. Because I, I love I think, Quicksilver, Scarlet, yes, Donna, Wanda, like, and Pietro. No. Are they should be? That's like parents. so oldly established. Like, don't. Yeah. And there's no reason not to, yeah. except for Versus. the use of word mutant in the movies, which they can now use. Yes. I think they right. retconned it for the Miracle Children right. story, and now you don't have to re retcon. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Uh, versus like Nightcrawler's retcon. I'm like, that makes sense. I was fine with that. Well, yeah. We never knew his parents, and it exactly. also, look at how blue they all are. Exactly. <laughs> look at that blueness. Look at the blue. Exactly. Yeah. Next uh, question. That's like when they go on Maury Povich and they're like, this baby's blue. Come yeah, on. come on. He's blue. <laughs> That's your mother. She's blue. Yeah. It's right there. Uh, Azazel, you are not the father. <laughs> <laughs> he gets up like, yeah. <laughs> Goes back to hell. <laughs> Sponsored by the Yee asks, will we see Deadpool in this series? Are we allowed to say that name? Is sponsored it sponsored by, by the Yee or sponsored by the Yay? I think it's the Yee. Oh, okay. Sponsored by the Yee. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't think we get Deadpool. Deadpool. Oh, okay. He cameoed one like frame, yeah. I believe. One frame morph turned into cam or uh, into. Oh uh, uh, no! It was a. Uh, it wasn't it was morph. A Gambit's um, memory, right? No, Weapon X flashback. Wolverine's memory. Oh I yeah. Oh right. Yeah. We also right. saw like Maverick. We also saw like other X right, yeah. like Maverick. like Weapon X characters. Uh, I just don't think because of of like I think Ryan really wants to have the narrative on what Deadpool is. Yeah, it'd be a little universe. messy now. So, I think after but, whatever but happens but in Deadpool, Wolverine, then in this season, season okay. two, so maybe this show season yeah, yeah. two or three. Um, but again, maybe just a cameo. It doesn't have to be a full sure, Deadpool-centric sure. episode or like a Weapon X flashback or anything like that. People get excited. Here, here's the deal. Marvel Studios has Ryan Reynolds on call. Well, what a get would, would that be, right? I would for think... To voice oh, for a line or two. Well, even that, I think like if, if season one ends... Yeah. You know, to be continued in season two, it scrolls out as a TV set and it's live action Deadpool being like... Oh, I see. I, I see, gotta I wait see. another year for this shit, or that something could like be that. Cute. Like, that could be that really could be cute. very. I mean, cute. Well, the I'm marketing has that. been very fourth wall breaking yeah. with the VHS. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. I'm not mad at that. And you, right. know, you get a stuntman in the suit, you get Ryan's voice. At the so end of the day, it. the biggest piece of pop culture cancellation I've ever cared about is Donald Glover's Deadpool show. Mm. If this show can be big enough that we get Donald's Deadpool back, that'd be dope. Everything's oh. Evan's what happened? Like, what Evan's happened so first. young, he doesn't know about that. Yeah, Dude, literally, Donald Glover had a Deadpool show that got greenlit. They had hired animators. It was going to wow. be literally animated in LA, like uh, yeah. Tip Mouse and a bunch of teams that I knew were going to be working on it. And then it got canceled. The day it got canceled, there was a leaked script, and it was all that day's news, i.e. Donald Glover wrote a better three pages of Deadpool that day than I'd read from comics in like 10 years. Oh my it's God. like Pusain, Doug and Lovell Good. It's like, yeah. it's it's Deadpool and Donald Glover is the internet. Deadpool is the internet. It would have oh. been like a match made in head. What happens first? Dead, Donald Glover's Deadpool or Donald Glover's... Uh, uh, Prowler movie. Prowler movie. Oh. Or... Hypno Hustler. <laughs> Hypno oh, Hustler is no, a, fake, a fake name. It was definitely a fake name for Prowler. Fake, but I or, think... or the Lando show. Oh. Ooh, it's a movie. Which is not a movie. It's a movie. It will never happen. <laughs> You can call it a show, you can call it a movie, it'll never happen. Honestly, <laughs> honestly. That's think, never happening. I think the thing that might happen first might be the Or Lando Patty movie. Jenkins Rogue Squadron movie. It might be the Lando movie. You think so? I don't yeah. think it'll ever happen. I think he's in Beyond the Spider-Verse, but I don't think that much. And I think that might be a spinoff into the Hypno Hustler, which is Prowler, but I think Lando's moving. I they think seem to be focused on He Star will be Trek. Prowler before he's Lando again or 
this Deadpool. Stephen Glover writing it with him though. I feel like that's a lot of movement. Nah. And I think I think Prowler, if it's in the hands of no offense, if it's in the hands of Sony, mm-hmm. but not Sony Animation, it'll be a Sony yeah. Marvel joint. I think it, it, that's what I'm saying. If it's a Marvel Studios Prowler movie, well, that's just a live action Miles Morales. It's not. Right. Well, it's not right. a Prowler movie. It's a movie Prowler featuring him. Yeah. The, the, then then. Even that, it's like that feels That's still so a miles, miles, yeah. And that feels like that might be after miles Secret Wars. Away. That might be after Tom Holland is like 30, 35, 40. Sure. Like, yeah. I don't know yeah. when an MCU miles. That still happens yeah. before. And Lando, would no. mid 50s Donald Glover want to play Prowler then? No, then yeah. he's going to be it, I think playing he would, Lando he would as really a 50 year old man. <laughs> yeah, that's he the will other be thing. just Lando now. That's the other thing is that there is weirdly a visible time frame a ticking time bomb mm-hmm. with with Donald Glover playing this character because it's he like becomes they, the they, can't, they, they can't get close they enough can, to he that. can't be older than <laughs> like yeah. the same with uh, young Han yeah. Yeah. yeah like these guys still look closer to how they looked in this solo yeah. movie I think the temptation is listen Lucasfilm made a Willow series yeah they will make stuff that they are interested in making. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know that for the past couple of years we've been hearing like, oh, they really, they really refocused after Solo. Like that really knocked them for a loop. I don't buy that. I think that they have too many good elements in yeah. something like that to want to put out a movie starring Donald Glover that is including Star Warsy elements, but maybe doesn't market you as with Han Solo because maybe he is or isn't in it, mm-hmm. and still being then able to tie in some other stuff, whether it's like Andor stuff or like like I think right now Lucasfilm and Marvel Studios are are. I think Marvel Studios was already originally planning this. Their TV shows are going to loop into the movies, meaning they made Moon Knight with the intention of having Oscar Isaac Moon Knight in a movie. They made She-Hulk with the intention of having She-Hulk in a movie. I think Lucasfilm didn't quite do that, but I think now they're looking at stuff and they're like, dude, we're spending so much money on these shows, Mm -hmm. the subscriber numbers aren't going up on Disney+. Plus. Star Wars fans have already subscribed. Let's use TV shows for projects that are like The Acolyte. Right. That are like new and interesting, or, ex- or, or or continuations of animated shows, or continuations of established things, like you and getting his Obi Wan show. Yeah. yeah. Because maybe it wouldn't it wouldn't be feasible to do an Obi Wan Kenobi movie, because that might be a weird, confusing. Like, okay, is this episode three point five? Is mm-hmm. this episode? You know, but to do a TV show kind of wraps things up. Then now I think what's happening with the acolyte, I feel like we're going to see characters from that sh- era end up in a movie. The Mandalorian is going to turn yeah, into a 100%. series finale yeah, is the yeah. movie because when you put a movie in theaters, you can make millions of yeah, dollars yeah. off of that. And I'm glad they finally realized that yes. streaming isn't profitable. Right. It's so, about numbers which don't translate to dollars. Movies translate to dollars more. Yes. So they need to get focused on maybe using TV as backdoor pilots or yes. retroactively getting people to go back to the shows like X-Men 97 is. Yes. I think maybe using Lando to get people to go back and watch Rogue, I mean, uh, Solo. You might, might be more likely. Right. On so you're saying a Lando TV show? Uh, no, I'm saying a Lando movie might get people right. to go watch Solo. That's what I'm saying. And whatever elements, because there are still things from that Solo movie that were like not wrapped up. I think some of that, um, uh, God, what's the actress's name from uh, Game of Thrones who was in Solo, who was in Secret Amelia Invasion. Clark. Amelia Clark's character. I think they ended up wrapping up some of that stuff yeah. in oh, comics. Yeah. She was supposed yeah. to, yeah, yeah like she goes into like the, 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 the Darth Maul. Yeah, the Rise of Dawn and the Darth Maul. I think Lando should be a Darth Maul story. That, you can make Lando saying. the sequel that's, to Solo. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it, that's, I agree. that's what it's going to be. So I feel like with all of that in mind, a Lando movie could happen mm. before a Sony produced. Yeah, we know where to plug in the Prowler movie. You guys aren't. You that's why know, Armor that's Wars became a movie, not a show. This is the same thing. Like, 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 Iron Man Four became Iron Man Four in theaters versus Armor Wars the show. Right, I yeah. agree. Great. Uh, just to wrap up this kind of cameo and MCU question, uh, okay. Yuka Prieta asks, as well as some other people, do you think they could introduce a new character that would be translated to live action? You know, why now? Do you, do you think any of the animated characters that we do see could move to live action at all? I, I love the Mr. Character. Sinister idea. Yeah, I don't think it'll be that version of the character, but I think the character as an yeah. idea. Mr. Yeah. Sinister, Cassandra Nova, certain characters that we'll see later, yeah. 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 I think that what if character from the Native American storyline, I feel like uh, Kohori, mm-hmm. we are going to see her in live action at some point, right. but I don't think that anything in X Men 97. With all of the characters they have access to, yeah. why would they like create a new character, for example, a new original character? Oh, like an OG. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm I'm like, I don't they're think not a new character. That. I think no, it'd be no, no. bringing someone yeah. in the medium seen, for the yeah. first time. Yeah. Yes, yeah. for sure, I could see that. But I mean, they're, they're already setting up the, the Jubilee trilogy with having Jubilee back on this show, which yeah. I think is very exciting. Yeah, gave people hyped up for Jubilee. Let's have Jubilee her fight someone, please. I'd watch it. Richard Linklater's fight someone in a mall with Jubilee. Yeah. So uh, juggernaut any other? Alive? Bring back the juggernaut. Let's have let's have Jubilee fight the juggernaut. Oh, the juggernaut will so show sick. back up on the show. Um, He's like, "Where's my brother? My stepbrother?" 
A lot of questions. Sorry we didn't get to everything today. I do want to end with this one from OAM Music. Um, how would Hector and Brandon Southern lawyers have defended Magneto to the UN? Oh, okay. Hector is so pissed at me. <laughs> uh, technically, when we were doing this, I was a congressman. Yeah, be a just congressman. for the record. You want to be that like Southern sounding? I guy did like I did like yeah. Lindsey Graham that was on yeah. the panel. <laughs> well, we're just here to uh, handle this court now, Mr. Eric Lynch, uh, aka Magnus. Sometimes I do believe y'all called. Uh, uh, do I have any metal on me right now, good sir? Can you sense any metal in this room? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the court, we like to call a surprise witness to the stand of Mr. Joseph, who is the clone of my client. <laughs> Magnus, a.k.a. Uh, Eric Lynch, a.k.a. Max Eisenhardt, a.k.a. Magneto. Uh, uh, Magneto, is it true or untrue that you are the father of a one Mr. Wanda Maximoff and a one Mr. Uh, Pietro Maximoff? Objection, Your Honor. That's hearsay, speculation, and I'm just a simple country lawyer. I don't know anything about passing on mutant genes. Uh, these characters with their superpowers, Polaris... What, just because she can control metal, she must be the daughter of my client? Yeah, daughter? yeah. That's racist. I'm, I'm pretty good at pickleball, but none of my children have inherited my pickleball abilities. <laughs> that's that's not how science that's works. That's very true. That's very true. Just because honor. I am good at pickleball does not mean I pass it on to my children. Your Honor, my client Magneto is just a simple silver-haired daddy. Mm. Mm -hmm. He is not a uh, eco-terrorist or no, some sort of no. supremacist. Your Honor, I don't even know what the word supremacist means. <laughs> Magneto just likes to put on uh, arm length gloves. <laughs> the man has an M on his chest. An M. An M. That's, what do you think that means? Is it for Magneto? No. Is it for mutant? No. Manly. Manly? It stands for manly. It stands for Sustained. manly. Sustained, exactly. Manly. manly. Yana, we rest our case. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, well, that's so it for us today. In the middle of <laughs> it's a great coin. Man, you just, it's, like, it's like being attached by a cougar. You just it's get gotta really still. Sustain. Yeah. Hopefully it won't see you. Uh, that's it for us today. Make sure to subscribe to the Break Room channel right here on YouTube. And give us a follow on Twitch where we do these videos live. And you can see that there is never any edits made. And we do it yeah. perfect. We had, a great, we had a great conversation on Twitch before yep. we got yeah. <laughs> Maybe you guys got to see it. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? Uh, Sorry. Would, would anyone like to plug their social channels? I'll offer that up to you today. Oh, thank you so much. I'm on the internet at Hector is Funny. Check me out at Hector is Funny. Thank you. Perfect. I'm at my name, Koyja Andro, everywhere, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, all the places. Find me. Everybody. Comics. I love comics. He loves comics. Loves them. And don't forget to follow at Breakroom and R on Instagram, Twitter, X, and Threads. <laughs> Come on, I'm, I'm on there. Tom happening. Michelson's on there. Oh, oh, threats I'm fine with. It was yes. yes. Oh, I got you. I was going to say, okay, great. Still just not over that. Next uh, time, just don't say it. You just I said know. it with such We'll pain. catch you next time. Late as gay as bye.